So I'm doing a vlog because I'm throwing a baby shower for a friend at my house and um, so we got a lot of party prep happening. So I'm kind of imagining myself in the space. So when you guys are planning parties, you really want to imagine the whole flow of the party to figure out where you're going to put tables and chairs, things like that. So um, because, you know, mostly everybody's going to be outside, we're going to have people come through the gate. Um, so let me turn the camera around. So we're going to have people come through the gate. They're going to walk down this area here. So it's a good little flow into the backyard. <laughs> and then I'm debating on where I should start the tables. Um, I'm thinking if I start the first table here, there's still walk room over here for people to walk by. And then we could probably fit like one, two, three or four tables. I was also thinking of possible um, backdrop areas right here. It's a little larger and I already, I already have the little things set up. So I just leave those there. So <laughs> I already have the little stand set up. So all I have to do is put a little arch, balloon arch, and I'd be done. Then the fourth option would be here. But I also thought this would be a good place for drinks. So um, yeah, I got to make that decision today. Because it's Saturday and the party's tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, we'll figure that out and then we'll start putting stuff together. Because I don't have like a cricket or anything like that, um, a lot of the times I'll buy my favorite boxes. Um, sometimes in bulk, but you know, Amazon's a pretty good place to get favorite boxes or e favor mart, something like that. And, um, but uh, the colors of the shower are white, lavender, and pink, right? So I got these. I got this, um, I got this set right here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but it has all these other colors. So I just wanted the lavender, the white, and the pink one. These two colors I was gonna, I'm gonna use for something else for another party, but I figure for like 13 bucks, you get 100, not a bad deal, right? So just look, look at, look at that, look at that purple, right? Oh, that's a lavender, it's light, okay? Um. This is what came. Um, this is what came. Now, I don't know about you, but that is not the same color. Okay? <laughs> it's not. It's really not. So, um, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed. Um, there is 20 of each color, so I'm going to put together the white and the pink ones first, and then if I have enough candy, I'll do this monstrosity of a color but I'm very big on color and if you say it's lavender I need it to be lavender or if lavender's in the picture I need it to actually be that um so just be careful when you're buying things on Amazon um party packs anything in bulk always read the fine print I read the fine print and still you might get something messed up so I'm going to show you guys me putting the favorites together and then um we'll go back to planning and I don't, and I don't
prep day. Or is it prep day? I guess like, I don't know if you want to call it prep day. Uh, it was a success. <laughs> I'm tired, clearly. Um, prep day was a su success. Um, I narrowed down what I'm going to do with the balloons. I narrowed down where I'm going to place the balloons. So the only thing I have left to do is, um, is pretty much put the balloons together and put the centerpiece together. I didn't want to put anything outside tonight except for the tables just because, um, you know, the moisture and the air and all that stuff. And it's been raining, so I didn't want anything to get rained on. So, um, tables are all out there, just not covered. And then, um, I forgot to film me, um, I forgot to film double stuffing the balloons, but I got, we have like white, so the colors are light pink, lavender, and light pink, lavender, and white, right? So I have white balloons, I have like lilac lavender brand balloons and then I have um, I had to double stuff like to make pink I put um, pink balloons into white and then I also put some red into white to make like a soft pink so um, so yeah so I did that forgot to film it of course um, but um, tomorrow I did get kind of a head start I'm playing around let me show you guys I'm playing around with um, centerpiece ideas. So I have this, sorry, I was cleaning. Um, uh, my friend, one of my friends bought these baby boxes. So um, we wanted to add flowers. So I still need to get purple flowers, um, but I was gonna do purple and pink flowers in the boxes like this. But yeah, that is today. So we are going to, um, Call it a night, it's like 11 o'clock. I need to get some sleep because today is the big day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. survived um all in all i think the party went very very well again my responsibilities were hosting the party at my house doing the favors and adding the balloons to the backdrop so surprisingly i really did like the vinyl backdrop that my friend ordered um so if i'm able to get the link from her i will link that down below so you guys can purchase the same one if you're having a butterfly themed party 
Um, but I really was surprised at the, I guess, quality and the thickness and the sturdiness of it. Um, the only thing is when you do buy those types of backdrops, you don't have, um, it's not, uh, there's no loops or anything to put it on a pole or anything like that. So you, you have, you're supposed to use the clamps or any kind of tape. So I ended up taping it around the poles that I had. So that's one insight that I had. The other insight was doing those favors and how I showed you guys the color difference. Like that just blew me away how they were saying that was lavender. It was not. So another insight is be careful <laughs> when you do buy online, always have a backup plan. Um, it actually ended up working out us just using the white and the pink colors um, because that gave us 40 favors total, which was perfect. We actually had uh, some left over, so we only had, I think, about 30 people um, that took favors, so um, that worked out. Um, and then my third insight, I think I'll make a more in-depth video about how to plan for an at-home party because even though at-home parties can be very stressful and they can be very like matchy-matchy and super coordinated, you don't have to always have everything super matchy-matchy. Like you don't have to have um, you don't have to have the super coordinated plates and the super, like just solid colors. You don't have to have the patterns and things like that. So I think I'll make a tips video on that. So, and go more in depth, but, um, just, um, just white plates, clear plates match with anything. So you should be fine <laughs> doing that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style type of video. Um, so you can kind of see behind the scenes of what goes into planning um, at-home parties. I don't consider myself a planner as far as um, planning for clients, but I do like to help plan parties for friends. So especially if it's at my house, it kind of helps me out <laughs> with not having to take things to an, a venue. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. See the description below for anything that I use in this video, and I will see you in the next one. Stay crafty. I want to figure it out though. I really need to write things down. <laughs> ah, okay, anyway. What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? I don't fucking know. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm talking to myself.